after the first night, we would divide up into small groups. And uh, I knew going into that retreat that Caleb had an interest in Bethany. And we thought the feeling was mutual. And I don't think it was my idea, but it was someone's idea. Hey, let's put them, let's just, let's just go ahead and see right now if this thing is going to work. And we'll just put them in the same small group. And we announced, you know, we were just announcing, hey, let's divide up into these groups. This is in, you, you know, here's your group, here's your group. And when we called off the names of Caleb's group, I looked over and Caleb's, once he heard Bethany's name was in his group, his kind of, his head sunk into his hands and his face was turning red. And I don't know if he was fearful or thankful. He was praying. I know he was praying. um, And uh, that small group, I think, went pretty well. this day and their, and their marriage. They, they long for this day and for their marriage to reflect Christ. And we've seen elements of that even in the ceremony first. You know, the groom, Breathe traditionally, in Christian marriages enters first as, as a reminder that Christ pursues his bride. Uh, even what we're celebrating the, this Hang next week in Christmas, we're, we're celebrating the, that God did not wait for the world to kind of brighten itself up or to lighten itself up, but Jesus entered into the darkness and dispelled the darkness. And so my encouragement, Bethany and Caleb, is to reflect that each day in your marriage. Caleb, you may not kiss your bride. It gives me great pleasure to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Caleb and Bethany Valentine. seeing you grow into a godly woman you are today. I have always loved you and I always will because loving you is the easiest thing I have ever done. But now you have Caleb (laughs) who will never ever stop loving you. Caleb, there is never anything ever I could say to thank you for what you have done for Bethany and what you're going to do. You are everything I could ever want for, for a best friend. Caleb, you're the absolute man. You are smart and super driven. Um, getting to watch you develop into a person you are now has been such a privilege for me. I looked up to you forever, and you've always been there to be, you've always been there for me when I need you. Uh, God definitely knew what he was doing when he gave you to me as a brother. Although you are awesome, I'm absolutely baffled that you got somebody like that. Bethany, you are literally one of the sweetest, most gentle and kind people I know. When I first met Bethany, I, this is no joke, I literally thought she was playing Caleb. Um, Because I thought there's no way on earth that someone could really be that sweet. Thankfully, um, I was way off and it became a prayer of mine that Caleb did not screw things up. 